For this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, we are doing a beer from Part- Hardywood Park Craft Brewery out of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, this beer was actually given to me by one Matt Van Zant. Uh, if anyone has listened to the podcast itself, he's been on a few of the deck episodes before, and I think maybe one other, one or two other episodes that weren't deck episodes. But anyway, um, he gave me this beer. Uh, a group of craft beer lovers and I, we did a Secret Santa. And this is one of the beers that he gave me. Very, very excited to try it. I've heard good things, but I will be the judge of that on this episode of Brew About Beer Break. Anyway, it is a gingerbread stout by Hardywood. Um, it is 9. What, 9.2% alcohol, and it's 55 IBUs, International Bitter Units. Obviously, you see a gingerbread man on there, and it says gingerbread stout, so... Pretty straightforward there. Cork and Cage, this is in their Reserve series, so, you know, when you do something you call Reserve, you have to make sure it's very uh, posh and cool looking, so what better way to do it than with uh, a Cork and Cage? Nice pop to it. Um, don't You never want to actually, you know, do like people do in the movies with Corks and try and, like, pop it out, because you can hit someone in the eye, you can injure someone some other way, you can break glass or um, uh, light bulb, just stuff you don't want to do. Just me giving you a little caution. So 9.2% alcohol, going to be pretty formidable as far as the viscosity goes and alcohol presence most likely, but who knows. Make sure I turn it so everyone can continue to look at that cool little gingerbread man. Um, Coloration is probably about what you would assume. Very, very dark. It's got a nice tan head to it. Um, It's around the edges, pretty brownish. Ooh, okay. Definitely smelling ginger to that and smelling pretty molasses-y, chocolatey in there a little bit. Wow, but the ginger is in the forefront and it just invades your nostrils, but in a good way. It's like nice, strong ginger. Mm, Smells nice. Honey scent to it with that molasses as well. Chocolate. Smells good. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. The first note I get is this chocolatey note. And then it gives way to a very thick, like, molasses uh, note as well. And then I'm getting, like, the honey, and it kind of finishes with the ginger. The ginger is a real quick kind of flavor peak in your mouth and then it comes down really fast um for that reason the flavor is very well rounded Mm. i have had beers before where ginger's in it and the ginger's overpowering and it lingers so much with this beer ginger is not really lingering and i like that the mouthfeel is pretty um pretty present, uh, pretty kind of heavy mouth feel to it, which is really nice because it kind of gives you the idea of like a gingerbread man, you know, like you usually think the gingerbread is like really kind of thick and dark and rich and the viscosity of this along with the flavor just gives you the whole portrayal of, you know, what you assume gingerbread is. Um, so some interesting stuff about this beer, um, it's made with wildflower, wildflower honey, if I could talk. Um, from Bearer Farms and Fresh Baby Ginger from Castlemont Farm. Um, so cool that they're doing like local ingredients um, down there in Richmond, Virginia. So uh, it is an imperial milk stout with fresh local ginger and honey, it says. Um, I like this. Typically not a huge gingerbread person, but this does taste like a nice um, ginger spice to gingerbread. Uh, with great chocolatey and um, molassesy notes to it, and um, I enjoy this, and I think that my wife is really going to enjoy this. Uh, we we actually got it from um, Matt just today, and as soon as I uh, unearthed what was in the box that he gave me for the Secret Santa, she saw this and she was like, uh, "Can we drink that tonight?" And I was like, "Why not? It's around that time, getting close to Christmas. Uh, it's cold outside." Perfect time for something like this. Uh, Hardywood, you did a hell of a job on this. Matt Van Sant, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This beer is very good. Anyone who's lucky enough to be able to get their hands on this, I definitely would recommend it. Gingerbread Stout by Hardywood, the full name, Hardywood Craft Park, or Park Craft Brewery. 
But Gingerbread Snap by Hardywood, killer. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Check out the podcast, of course. Send me emails, uh, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com uh, and all that other cool stuff. I'm on the Facebooks. The Twitters, I'm at Brutal Battle. So do all that stuff. But everyone, most importantly, please go get yourself a beer and relax.